I'm Grant Carlisle. Welcome to the Run for Phil show, episode four. Today we're going to talk about effective fundraising strategies, how long an annual campaign should run for, uh, what the focus of an annual campaign is, and strategies for leveraging your constituency group. And of course, the Phil tip of the day. So the first question is, which is a more effective fundraising strategy? Matching donations or a perk giveaway? All right, so let's break this down a little bit. If you are doing a matching donation, that means that when donations come in, a third party, another donor backed, is going to match those donations. So you get someone coming in with a $50 donation, that gets doubled now to a $100 donation. If you get someone to give $1,000, that doubles to $2,000. So your, your third party is always going to have a limit. They'll match up to 10,000, etc. cetera. Um, those would be great numbers, right? But we should all be shooting for those things. The matching donation says that as money comes in up to a certain amount, those numbers or donations will be matched. So taking that program and pairing it against what a giveaway program might look like. So if you, let's take that same $50 donation and someone gives $50 to your organization, we're going to send you a calendar in thanks. Um, you give $100, we're going to send you a whiskey glass in thanks. Some sort of a giveaway that ties them back to the organization. Of course, it's branded. What is it that a matching program versus a giveaway program can do for the organization? So I want to hear about the pros and cons. I want to hear about maybe time frame, how long it might take, or is this a perpetual process? And then what it might take to get one of these set up? So how do you get all these giveaway products? How do you get them branded? Uh, do you keep them in inventory? Do you lose those? If on the matching side you're saying it's going to match, how do you get those third-party organizations to say, we'll match? How do you add the value for those third-party organizations over time when you're trying to really rein in all of those other donors to get their donation matched? All right, moving on to question two. Now, question two is a shorter one, but there's a varying degree of ideas that go along with it. So question two reads as follows. How long should your annual campaign run? So let's set aside what an annual campaign might be for now, although I, I expect to hear some people talk about what they think an annual campaign is, the, the pros and cons of it. Um, but we do have another question that what the focus is. So if, if we all agree that an annual campaign um, is something that's run annually, and let's just have on the same basis, um, it's your kind of big activity for the year, your big outreach to the, your donor base, to all your constituents. If that's what your annual campaign is that's run every year, how long should that be? Are we running this for a couple weeks? Do you say that the actual ask is for a couple weeks, but the setup might be two months before? Um, is it going to be over a particular holiday? So what's the time frame? Is it going to be during the summer? Or is everyone focused on end of the year so that organizations can have the tax write-off that they love and really get in their philanthropic um, tasks you know, by the end of the year? Yeah, it, it's amazing to me that as an organization, you might say, well, people will wait till the end of the year. When you have the opportunity all year, to get them to become a part of your organization, mission, and vision, and convince them that the things that you're doing as an organization supports their mission and vision as an organization. If you make that connection for them, then they're not going to wait till the end of the year. They're going to say, yeah, let's see what we can do now, and let's make it a long-term thing. What's the lifetime value of that organization you're communicating with? If they gave last year, what are they going to give you next year? Not just more money and hopefully by the end of the year so they get their tax write-off. That's the easy play. If you have a company that's been doing that for three years, five years, then your next step with that company is going to be how can you make your campaign more involved with that organization? So for them, should it run longer? So maybe you segment that, that the people are giving more the annual campaign runs longer. Maybe you segment people in another, let's say, line item of, of donating, right? Your, your silver members, the campaign is a little shorter. And your bronze members, the campaign's a little shorter. 
right? Or, or maybe flip it. So for you as an organization, how long should that campaign run? But more importantly, what's the context of your answer? Is it going to run for that time frame and length because of X? I want to know more about X. What, what do you guys have to say? All right, moving on to the third question. Is the annual campaign focused on money? Is the annual campaign focused on money? Now, I hope there's some of you out there who hear that question and are like, is this guy an idiot? The annual campaign is for getting donations. And I hope there's some of you out there that are like, hey, this is a great question. Let's discuss what we can use the annual campaign for. And so what that might, what it could turn into would be a discussion of either older, new, veteran, inexperienced, or hopefully what I'm hoping for is just ideas. Bring your ideas. If you believe that the annual campaign's sole motivation is to gain more donations, tell us why. Give us the context and tell us why that makes sense for your organization or for you as a director. Okay? If you have other ideas on how an annual campaign can bolster a constituency group, how it can do more awareness, how it can bring in donations, how it can further um, supply something. If there are other ideas beyond money is the focus, let's hear about them. All right? The annual campaign, if we want to agree, again, is something that happens every year and is kind of your big event. What do you use that for? Is it for money? If not, let's hear from you. All right, let's begin our fourth question of episode four. What are strategies for leveraging your constituents during your annual campaign? So I'm looking for strategies. If you are trying to promote this year and you're reaching out to your constituents, what way do you do that? How do you leverage them? How do you empower them with knowledge? How do you empower them with opportunities to bring people? How do you leverage those people who are already connected, who are already dialed in, to get more people connected? Have, have a successful campaign. Um, let Congress know what it is you're trying to do. Let your local government know. Uh, bring in more constituents. Create donors. Get support from a local organization who you really need support for. I'm expecting a lot of contextual discussion here. So if in a particular year you have a, a law you're trying to pass or you're trying to get a, a new building built, okay, that year leveraging your constituents might look a lot different. You have something very specific you're trying to get done, and so when you do your ask with your constituents, leveraging them in a new way to get a building built versus getting something passed in government, versus just doing more outreach to new constituents, those look very different. So what are strategies for leveraging your constituents to help you and support you? Right? They've already said, I believe in your mission. Uh, I, I believe in your vision. I want to help with the mission. So how do you leverage them in a positive way to help further your mission, to help be a part of, right? And, and take them from just, um, I support you, to I'm involved, or, or even advocating for you. What are some strategies? Let's hear from you. All right, and the fill tip of the day. Fill tip is, tradition can be romantic, strategies must be effective, all right? So this has been the Run for Phil show. We're connecting philanthropic running by starting the conversation.